Let's talk about the magic of using an overlay on your background in BookBrush. So we'll start with a background image of a forest. Now to do an overlay, you can click more options in the top gray stripe or just double click your background. And over on the left in the editing section, you'll see the option for overlays. These go on top of your background. You just click and once you add it, then you can adjust the transparency of that overlay. So that's pretty subtle. We'll do some more. There's options with words. You can save these. I'm going to save a couple as projects so we can compare. If you change your mind, you can click the X next to overlay and change it to re and remove it. And we'll look through a few other options in here. And I'll also save one that doesn't have an overlay at all. Now I'm going to hop back out to the home screen so we can view all of them. You can also do this on the left if you click templates and projects. You'll see all of them lined up here for a nice comparison. But it's nice sometimes to see them all together. So you can click in the upper left hand corner for home. And then see your different projects. The first one is the one with nothing. And then you've got the one with the subtle colors. The ones with the lines coming in like the starburst and the words. So this is an easy option to do in the custom creator or on a book cover to change up the background. And I did some sample ones with beach as well. Each one of these has a different overlay. The differences are subtle, but it can really change the look and feel of your background. So we'd love to have you try out overlays in either the custom creator or the cover creator to change up your background.